This is Cougar football. These young guys have been playing so much. To, to have kind of a break like this, maybe let everything kind of settle in a little bit, is, is that pretty important? Well, I think, uh, you know, Sunday we had meetings with them. And uh, Monday and Tuesday they were students. And we didn't see them until today. And uh, so we got back at it, uh, did good on good, one on one, seven on seven in team, and uh, had a very spirited practice. But, uh, and we'll do the same tomorrow. And then they'll get another day off on Friday. But this is also a time to get your academics in line and, and uh, catch up if you are behind and, uh, and then get focused. Uh, we'll practice again on Saturday. Do you think playing seven games in a row that maybe for a guy that hadn't really been through that before, there might be some plateau towards the end of that that can oh, break I don't know. Some of our kids from California, I mean, they go 16 in a row, uh, you know, if they go far in the playoffs. Uh, so not everybody has, has a bye uh, and that type of deal. So. Uh, you just you get ready for the next opportunity and, and get your body uh, healthy and and that's what takes its toll right now you know bumps and bruises and the weather starts changing but uh, that's football. Have you noticed uh, with them a few days off today maybe they were a little faster in practice a little more? Well I thought they were real good today. Uh, they were ready to go, good focus. Uh, coach had a great team meeting with them uh, prior to practice and, and uh, they were very focused out here. Is there a temptation kind of uh, going into the bye week to kind of take a lackadaisical approach no, as players? No, we made sure of that on Sunday that it's not an off week, it's a bye week. There's a big difference. And uh, this is a, a time that I just talked about, get better on your individual technique. Uh, on the recruiting trail at this point in this season, uh, at this point in the high school season, when you guys have byes and you go out to these Friday night games, are they more for uh, going after guys who've already verbaled and solidifying that, hey, we're here to watch you? I think you it's, or, both. Yeah. it's both. It's uh, both that we're in the mix for or somebody has already committed uh, to Wazoo, that type of deal, and you're watching them play and that type of thing. So uh, it's important to get out uh, and, and get our brand out there and uh, see the guys. Well, obviously, it, you're, you're still working very hard, but is, is it kind of nice to have like a, a change of pace, get out and do some recruiting in the middle of the season? Well, it's just football. It's just changes. Uh, you're exactly right. We're, we'll get into some recruiting this weekend, but uh, uh, you know, still watching film and watching Arizona and that type of deal, but uh, uh, you know, get ready for next week. On some of these busy uh, recruiting days when you guys are out on the trail, how many high schools might you hit in one day when you're going and making these on, uh, visits? It varies uh, where you're at, uh, you know, in terms of traffic. If you're in L.A., it's a lot different uh, from getting from school A to school B versus eastern Washington mm -hmm. and, and that type of deal. But uh, also you're focused on, you know, targeting certain individuals and that type of deal. It's just not going to a school more, not a PR type deal. Mm -hmm. Uh, you're going after uh, certain individuals. It looks like King Kingston Fernandez has been playing pretty well. Is, is he a guy that could even still contribute, or is it getting too late in the season? Well, you never know. Uh, I hate to answer that right now, uh, but he is doing well. Uh, and we've talked about him, but we're seven games in, and you have to take that into consideration too. But uh, uh, right now, you know, he's, he's redshirting. At this point in the season, uh, and with all the youth you had coming in on defense, are you guys where you wanted to be or where you expected to be? And if you're not, how close are you? Well, I think we're, it's a continuing process. Uh, we're try trying to get better each day, make make use of your opportunities and that type of deal. And, and the more opportunities that Suli Hamid gets, the better he's going to get. Uh, and, and we just got to keep doing that. Stanford presented kind of a different challenge for those defensive backs, putting more tight ends downfield, throwing it up to some physical players. How, how do you think they responded to that? Well, I think we were good, and then uh, we weren't so good. Uh, you know, we were hot and cold, and we've got to get more consistent there in our pass coverage. And what, what have you seen from Pat Porter? Um, he had some time against Stanford. Well, I thought he made a heck of a play down in the, in the red zone uh, on the throw into the end zone and, and batted, got it out and that type of deal. But again, uh, you know, he needs more reps and continued work on his, uh, his technique, which this week is about.